This is one McLaren behind me, and today we're going to be making the largest McLaren collection inside of Driving Empire, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to start building the collection at the $20 million Mega Mansion right here. Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm putting the McLarens in the ideal spots. I don't want them, you know, just throw it all around mixed up with each other. I want it very thought out where the car should go, so we're going to take a look at my inventory. We're going to search McLaren. Let's see, so there's a lot of track McLarens, hypercars, I think we'll do the track cars and the hypercars downstairs, and then we'll put some leftovers upstairs, and if we run out of space, we could even use another house, and we can get like someone else to spawn in that house for us. Alright, so I want to do the row of track cars here, and then maybe like some more expensive, rarer McLarens there, so like, we'll do the Solus here, um, and you'll see what I mean by expensive, rarer McLarens in a second, so we're doing the Solus here, I feel like that's a good spot for the Solus. Next to the Solus. Um... The Senna. Okay, let's do the Senna right here. I like those two together. Those two go very well together. You know, we got two track McLarens, matching specs, basically. Um, what should we do here? Honestly, I don't know what to do here. I have a thought, um, and that is doing potentially a speed tail and a McLaren F1, because, you know, they're both the three-seater McLarens. But... Do we put the speed tail and uh, F1 here and move those two over? I think I kind of like that, so let me go ahead and get that done. Alright, F1's been placed right there. Let's go ahead and put the speed tail right here. Now, as we go, we'll probably, you know, keep changing stuff up kind of like I'm doing here, just until we get, like, the perfect order of cars, I would say. So, then I want the Solus, um, and I think I said the Senna goes here. And then I'm going to see if I like the way that this lineup turned out. Um, so we got... Some blue cars here, F1 of course is a different shade of blue, but I prefer that blue on that F1. So, you know, we got the three-seater F1, most expensive, very historical McLaren. Then we have the Speed Tail, which some would say is like the newer version of the F1. Um, so I feel like those two definitely belong together. Then we have our two track monsters right here. I mean, these things are insane, the Solus and the Senna. They are matching specs as well. Um, so I think the, that row is very nice. Let me figure out what I want to do with these three spots. Okay, so I've thought about it for a bit, and I remember I have these two matching McLarens. So the F1, or no, the P1, my bad, and the Elva, they match, right? They're both these very weird, like, color-shifting paints, but I think they look amazing. So those two belong together, in my opinion, right? Um, and then right here, I think we should put, let me see, what McLaren would fit in best? Um, to be honest... 620R would fit in very well. It's like a track car. Kind of fits with these three track cars, if you get what I'm saying. Um, of course, this full row is blue. I don't want to change that around. I mean, we could do three track cars there. You know what? Like I said, we're going to make changes as we go. This is more of a historical significance size. You know, these two cars are more like not track beasts, and those are track beasts. So we're doing track beast McLarens over here, I would say. And then more like just historical McLarens. The P1's gonna be a historical car, F1's a historical car, Speedtail's like a newer F1, Elba, it matches the P1. Let's go ahead and swap it around. All right, we have finished the downstairs. Here's the reveal. Okay, so we got Solus over here, Senna right there, 620R there. All the track cars, love it. This, this row of track cars looks amazing. Then over here, we have, you know, some McLaren hyper cars like the F1, the Speedtail. Those two go together. I already explained why, you know, it's like the speed tail is like the newer F1. Then we have the P1 and the Elva. You know, both McLaren hypercars, and they both match as well, which I think is amazing. Um, but let's head on upstairs, and what should we put up there? I think we we still have quite a few McLarens to go, so of course this house is going to fill up, but then we'll get another one spawned in. All right, so you can see we still have 10 McLarens here, right? And only five spots upstairs, so I think we're already doing like some of the best McLarens in this house, so I think we got to go for all the best ones that we have. Um... So let's see, I think we should do 765 LT here, 765 LT uh, Spider there, and a 720 here. That, I feel like that makes sense, right? Um, just so you know, we can, the 720 is like the older 765, so I think it has to go with the 765s, and 765s are like right below the hypercars in my opinion, so we're going to do 765 Spider right here, and 765 uh, LT Coupe, okay, yeah, there we go, okay, so... Will this load in, please? Thank you very much. This row looks very nice. Color shifting paint on these two, orange to red, blue, or dark blue to light blue. And then this crazy, this is actually carbon fiber if you look real close. I like that a lot. Um, 
But what should we do here now? You know, we got those three that look very similar. I'm thinking the 600 LT is where we go next. So we'll do the coupe right in front. Um, oh, yes, the orange coupe looks amazing. Spider. Um, so let's go ahead and get that. All right, so now, you know, this house is filled up. We got the 765s over here, Coop and Spider, the 720, the 600 LTs, Coop and Spider, and then we go downstairs and we have um, the F1, Speedtail, P1, Elva, uh, Solus, Senna, and 620R. So we got to go to the next house now because we still have five McLarens left to spawn in. So let's go ahead and get another house spawned in and we'll fill it up. All right, after a very long drive, we've arrived at my second house in Driving Empire. All right, so first off, I want to spawn in the McLaren GT. Look at how amazing the McLaren GT looks. We have it in blue with a brown interior. This spec, it just fits the car, I think. That's the first car in this new garage. Now, for these two spots, I think I want to do the Artura here, since that's a newer one, and then the 570S right there. All right, so we got the Artura out right now. And you can see, you know, the Artura is another one of the newer McLarens. These two are both newer models. Um, and then we're gonna put the older model 570 right here. Um, so just like that. And now I like these two because they're similar, you know, like the 570 is like the older version of the Artura, you could say. The Artura is even a V6 though, the 570 is a V8. And by the way, I, I already put here the 675 LT, I forgot to mention that. Um, the reason I put this here is because I realized all three of these cars are green, so you know. Bam, we got the green trio of cars. And then the McLaren GT just chilling over here in blue. Um, the, the, wow, those three just look so good together. Anyways, we do have one more McLaren, and that is the um, OG, I guess you could say, besides the McLaren F1, the first, you know, modern McLaren supercar. And of course, that's the MP412C. This is the Spider variant. Um, But that completes our McLaren collection. We have all of the McLarens spawned in in the other house and then this house. So... Yeah, uh, that, that's the biggest McLaren collection in Driving Empire. Literally every McLaren in the game, we got them. Um, now this garage, of course, you know, some of the lower-end McLarens, I mean, no McLarens are low-end, but on the, in, on the McLaren spectrum, these are all the lower-end models, in my opinion. Only one I wish was at the other house would be the 675LT. I feel like that, that one fits in with the other house. Um, but, I mean, besides that, you know, yeah, we got the 570, the Artura, the GT, and the MP412C. I think, you know, we did good with uh, spawning cars into this uh, garage and the other garage. I think we organized them all really well. Um, would I do anything different? Probably not. I mean, it's a pretty good layout. We got the green cars here, the GT just chilling in the corner, MP412C here, and then the other garage, of course. I had it laid out very nice. But that is the ultimate, you know, biggest McLaren collection in Driving Empire. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. I would truly appreciate it. Subscribe and the notification bell so you never miss another upload. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.